Hello guys and welcome back to Comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we are going to create that you can that the camera can follow an object or you can call it a third person camera. So just create a new script called third person camera and we're going to work in this. And well you're going to start up Visual Studio. I'm going to explain what it's going to do. So you're going to create an empty yeah called camera and we are just going to put it for now uh, we're just going to zero everything out then we're going to create an other empty called pivot because it's a little bit annoying to actually move this camera itself around and also where we are not going to move the camera itself around is for the reason that otherwise you will have like a cube somewhere and let me just change the pivot a little bit so you can actually see it. So you've got here like the pivot and uh, the cube. And if you would just change the camera itself, or you will put like this function in an update, the move function in an update, you will see that you got here like a cube and here you've got a transparent cube, which is the same cube. It's a weird behavior. I'm not going to explain it to why it is, um, that's a very long story which is very boring but you need to know that you just need to put it in a late update um, and also you don't want to move the camera itself so that's why we're going to move this empty called camera and let me just see oh yeah I put it as a child. Just make sure that, that doesn't happen, because you need to have this in a um, the the only child this camera needs to have is like the camera itself. Um, but for now, we're first going to change the late update um, for the reason I said a second ago, and we're going to remove this because we don't need it. And you're going to have a public float speed. You need that, and it's one a public transform. Whoops. Called um, target, which is I think also very easy to understand. And the public camera cam because we need to find out what is going to be the rotation. Because you don't want to uh, want to know what the rotation is to see which this object needs to look on the object because that's very easy. Um, for this very simple reason, I will just explain it. Um, this is going to be on the exact same position as that one and it will get an error that you can actually look at it because we're going to use quaternion.look rotation so we need to know what it is from the camera also what you can do um, is what something i won't do because it may occur a little bit weird behavior you can just instead of calculate the direction just say that the direction or calculate the rotation you can just say that the rotation is exactly the same um, as the rotation of the object you follow which is a lot of times that is true but now we're just going to um, create a new function because we are not going to do that I'm just going to show you like the full way of doing this because some people need it um, a factor tree dot direction that's the very first one and it is going to be if you uh, find out what the difference is between two factors, you will get um, directly also the uh, the direction. That's very easy. So, and if you normalize it, you will get the direction. Then uh, that isn't a rotation yet, so you need to make it to a rotation. So it is going to be look rotation because that's how you do it. Because if you put in here a direction, it will just translate it into an, uh, the right rotation. Then you're going to lock the X and the Z axis because you don't want to rotate around those axes. And that's because um, you will get, if you move it around them, you will get this behavior. And you don't want this behavior because it looks weird. And yeah, well, maybe you want it, but you will probably want to code it not from uh, maybe like an animation if you move very fast or whatever but not 
when you are actually going to follow like an object because it's very annoying for the players. So transform.rotation does x and it's the same for the set axis. Now we're going to assign the rotation and of course we're not going to say that the rotation is the look rotation because if you're going to do that it will get a little bit weird for the very simple reason that this uh, that you don't already have like a very close rotation towards this one so you get like a lackey or shocky image which you don't want to have and a slurp works like you've got two values and it will get a percentage in between them so if you got like the very first oops the very first percentage is a transform dot rotation the second one is the look rotation and then the the percentage is time delta time multiplied by 100 then we'll get like something that's right because this is the speed and i will advise you not make it any lower or higher you can do it but it will probably cause you a lot of weird behavior about transform dot rotate uh, dot position it's directly just you just can directly use a slurp function because you got like a transform dot position and the target dot position and you don't need to have any calculation on how to rotate it or whatever you can just do time dot delta time multiplied by the speed which is like if you just in it's not like the um, units per second or f something like that it is more like how long will it take for the camera to be from the position where he is now towards the position where he will come and it is not and when it is 10 uh, seconds for example the speed is 10 doesn't mean it takes 10 seconds but it means like it is one divided by 10 so many seconds so that's one seconds um, now we're just going to assign that's everything um, or did I forgot to edit in the update yeah you also need to add it here move and then here you're going to put the third person camera then you are going to assign the camera and the target and then if you hit play and you move the cube around and it will look a little bit weird before i'm going to do it it will look a little bit weird because i don't have like a landscape around it so it will just look a little bit strange but if you do it fairly slowly you can see that it works and if you do it very quickly you see that the camera is rotating in the right direction so for example i do it like this and everything just seems to work so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and I'll see you guys then. Bye.